Hey everyone, welcome to the session of date time index and resample. Today we will be looking over the data set for Netflix and I'll be showing you how to import your Netflix dot stock data set. So just Google Netflix stock data set and go to this link. You will find a data set like this. In the tab of historical data, apply the time period of previous month and click apply and then download your data. You will get a CSV file format which you can later import it in the uh, notebook as I have done here. So let's get started with our date time index. Let's have a look at our data set dot head method. So we have a uh, stock market data of Netflix with its date, with its open value, which value was higher, when it was lower, with its close value and its volume. So while you see the data set of date, uh, data type of date type, you will find that the type of, so this comes out to be of string type. So we cannot operate on the data type of string. We need to convert this into a type of date time index so that we can follow our operations. So your pandas read CSV has an argument of parse dates and in this you will pass the name of the column which you need to operate as date and now when you check the data type for this date it changes to timestamp that is it has successfully changed its data type as date time uh, now to use date as a form of index your read csv also has an argument to change your index column you can set your index column as date now you can see date has set as an index and to verify this you can call the index as shown here uh, netflix dot index so we have date time index with all the dates as the index with its data type as date time all right so let's begin our analysis uh, with date time now you can choose any date let's say you want a data for 2000 19 of January you want the whole data set of January 2019 so you can fetch the data for January in 2019 with the help of date time index you can also specify your range like if you want the name of the data set Netflix and you want a range of say two so you want this data okay so this will fetch you data of one month as you can see we have fetched this data now if you want to pull out some operation if you want to calculate the mean of the close column so let's say that you want the range let's say 2019 01 till 
zero two till second February, and we want only the close column with its mean. Okay. So this gives you the mean for this above date range for the close column. Similarly, if you want to see for the mean of the open variable for the open column, you can say open and this gives you the open. All right, uh, now uh, to make it a bit easier, you can use a method known as resample. So what does resample do? Let's say that you want all the monthly uh, close uh, values of the column. So you're not going to do it manually by fetching like this, which I was doing it earlier. So you need a method. And the method is you apply the name of the column which you want that is close dot resample and apply monthly that is you want for month wise so you apply m dot mean you want to calculate its mean or the average value so this throws out the corresponding mean values of monthly close columns so for january uh, 31st january it is 342.08 similarly for february march april and so on okay so if you want to plot this value you can always plot these values so for plotting you know we have to call this function matplotlib in line and you want to plot this value so you just have to pass dot plot method and this gives you the value so it shows a quite dip in the region between December 2018 and January and the highest value was recorded around the time of July okay so similarly you can pull this operation for your open column as well so you just have to change the name of the column say open and plot so this gives the plot for your open now what this resample is doing it's resampling your data set into smaller samples for example if you want to change the scenario from monthly to say let's say quarterly so let's change this value if you want for quarterly let's delete this plot for at once and you want the values for quarterly data so you you are getting the values in every three months that is quarter now if you want to plot just say dot plot okay so this is throwing the quarterly data now this q1 q2 q3 is for quarter one quarter two so four quarters of 2018 and four quarters of 2019 okay now you if you want to change the type of graph you can say in the plot kind is equal to bar if you want a bar plot so this gives you a much clearer picture with colorful graphs now the lowest was recorded in this quarter 4th okay of 2018 as you can see now what's the difference between this method resample and the method which we were using earlier now for example i'll show you 
if I choose the close column dot close so you can see we have this graph of day to day uh, operations in the stocks so it has a much greater granularity okay so to reduce this granularity we have introduced this method of resample which gives a fine tuning to your graph so this resample method becomes very handy in this okay so this is the use case of date time this is how you can use your date time as your index and you can fetch as uh, complex values of stock market data set in your fingertips so there is much more to the uh, beyond tutorial so stay tuned i'll be continuing this tutorial forward